So you might not know, but in the 1980s, I helped manage a consumer electronics store in, San in Silicon Valley. And uh, so I've always been interested in shopping technology, how, how you can get rid of inventory if you're a retailer, and also how to make the uh, buying experience more fun. And Sellagit has a way to do this for, uh, uh, mostly for women right now, but uh, consumer electronics coming soon in a new app called Peach. Who are you? Uh, my name is Jeff. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Sellerjet. And tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, um, I was uh, I was born and raised in China. I'm here five years ago uh, for for uh, Berkeley. What uh, city in China? Uh, Xiamen is in Fujian, very close to Taiwan. We can okay. see Taiwan sometimes. We get signal from Taiwan. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So. Um, Tell me a little bit about Sellerjet. What, what are you trying to do uh, with your company? So uh, Sellerjet, first, we, we uh, years ago, we built a, um, a, a local marketplace, uh, most for students um, selling their used items in Berkeley. Um, uh, we're using a Dutch auction, which is the price going down instead of going up, uh, which is very exciting. Uh, we get a lot of users. People, people love our website over Craigslist. Yeah, and who is this for? So this new app is specifically for uh, women who lo love fashion or love top brands. Um, uh, we help them to get a great product in a great price. Yeah, and so you're going to have uh, what handbags and different things uh, to sell here? Exactly, top brands, handbags, shoes, um, some uh, little you know earrings. Those yeah. kind of stuff, yeah. And I assume, it, uh, and maybe we should see the app, but it's gonna what show a notification that something new is available. Yeah. That how does it work? Tell me how. It so, works. once you uh, uh, once you have the uh, install the app, and you choose what you interest. So um, maybe you can show me while you're telling me what it does. Yep. Okay. So one. I just. It's on. So show okay. me what it does. So so uh, once you sign up the app, you can. You can uh, choose what you uh, interest items, whether it's um, sunglasses, shoes, or some uh, purse, designer purse. And then we, uh, we choose all the products, very good products. And, and once, uh, once the interesting product come out, we have, the, we have it on sale, and we give you a push notifications. Um, to, to direct direct to your cell phone, yep. um, and then but the, you only have ten minutes, less than ten minutes actually, it's nine minutes to to respond to the cell. So what you're going to do is not you're not looking for any price anymore. So you choose what you want to pay for this particular item. So let's say a coach handbag shows up on my uh -huh. notifications. It says uh, starting price is what four hundred dollars. No, it's not starting price. Okay, it's, but you, it shows probably the retail. Yeah, price. Yeah, it puts the seller retail price, and you look at his handbag. You can look at the um, descriptions, um, and then you you choose what you want to pay for this one. All right. So and let's say a retail price is four hundred dollars, and I only want to pay a hundred dollars. Okay. So let's see. For example, for this one, we can put. Uh, Original price is two hundred twenty dollars, and we want to pay. Uh, what do you What do you want to pay? Let's say one hundred to make it easy. Oh, okay, let's say hundred, and we just put choose hundred. Yeah. Okay, so that shows like four, fifty four point five percent off. Right. So that that's the price in your heart. You you want to pay this, and you just place it, and after 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 ten minutes, the the we will show result. So the, first, the, the person who, who offered the highest get his items. Yeah. But the great, point, the great thing is he, only pay for, he or she only pay for the second price. So that, that's this Dutch auction works. So, yeah. so, so, so let, let's go through this. So let, uh, there's a new bag, mm -hmm. maybe $220 right now. Okay. Let's say you have five of those to sell at $220. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you have 20, sell, 20, 20 buyers, buyers. Oh, yeah. and they choose their price. Only the top, the top five, five get, get items, okay. but I only pay for the sixth price. And 
do you know the prices that the highest bidders are bidding? Yeah, or? we will show we will show all. So the I can results. say, oh, I really want that bag. I got to pay a little bit more to get exactly. into the. Uh, exactly. So it's sort of like a reverse eBay kind of thing. Exactly, right? reverse eBay. Um, and so there's pressure on us to keep the prices uh, moving up a little bit because. If I really want one of those items, I, I have to uh, oh, the, uh, bid the, higher than you. I think I think that you, you missed understanding one thing. So when you place the bid, you cannot see other people ah, okay. the bidding. So you just place the bid, and yeah, then after O'Brien. nine minutes, I so, find out if I got it or not. Yeah, right? it's, it's O'Brien. Got so it. so you you only have nine minutes to, to make a decision what you, what you want to pay for this item. If you really want it, you want to put higher because if you get an item, you always pay less. Yeah. So that that's that's the psychology of this one. No, it's, yeah. it's very exciting. This lets a retailer uh, move inventory very quickly exactly. if they have an overstock of a bag exactly. or of a, yeah. a jewelry or whatnot, and, that, and they need to mer- move it to keep cash flow going. Yeah, exactly. This is, uh, yeah, this is a problem, because I used to have that problem in the 1980s, and we would have to have a tent sale if we had too many things, uh-huh. uh, uh, too much stock of things, because mm-hmm. you can't send them back a lot mm-hmm. of times. You have to sell them. Mm-hmm. So. Um, Interesting yeah. stuff. Is there any secret sauce here that, that, that you came up with to make this uh, easier to do, or is it just bringing a, a Dutch auction and making it pretty on a mobile phone? Is that what your business uh, is? We do have some experiments in past years uh, in our, web, our website, Cosalaget, uh, which is selling used electronics mostly. Yeah. Um, we find out people get excited when, you, when we use this, uh, when you do use this kind of auction method, it's, uh, especially when they see the price dropping at real time. Uh, people get excited. So once we sell a laptop, it's a, a Apple laptop, we, we attract like 4,000 people yeah. come over to see. And, and like 200 people place a, place a, place a price on that. Yeah. So we, 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 we want to say that that, that, that working, right? Uh, but use item is, the, the value is kind of low. So we, we want to choose if any other vertical we can use this method and try to make it work. Yeah. So now we choose fashion because two reasons. People, women love, love handbags. They never shoes. They already, or always want to get one, one more pair. Yeah. Or, and it's, and the, the price of fashion is kind of, is, is very, um, is, is sometimes hot. They get discount all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's some, sometimes. Well, well the, you know, my Nike shoes, which I don't have on, uh, <laughs> you, you pay $130 at the retail store, mm-hmm. and if you go to the Nike employee store, they cost $40. So exactly. there, there's a lot of margin. It's in a there. lot of margin. And if you uh, have too much inventory, you might even yeah. sell it for, for less than $40 exactly. to, to turn that back mm-hmm. into, the, uh, into uh, profit. Um, Let's say, uh, using this handbag as an example, um, so it's $220 retail. Uh, let's say there's not enough buyers. Let's say there's one mm-hmm. buyer and you have mm-hmm. five, pro- mm-hmm. five handbags to sell. Yeah. Does the retailers, can the retailer say, I don't want to sell these for less than uh, $50 each? Is there a, a bottom floor? For no, them? it's not bottom floor. So the us. retailer just has to take whatever you can get and they know that that's uh, part of the risk of this, right? Yeah, part of the risk, so, so at, at the beginning, we, we wouldn't take a risk for retailers. So that, that's how it works right now, uh, because we, we understand the auction. Uh, if, we, we, if we attract the, enough users to, to this app, uh, the price won't be very, very ridiculously low, and we believe that price is the right, it's the right price for the market. Yeah. So, so that, that's what we want to do with two things. So change how people, pri- the, how, uh, uh, business pricing products uh, by using uh, ask the ask the customer how how much they will they willing to pay and 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 adjust in the future. Another thing is we want to just want to say you move inventory fast. How fast? Yeah. Less than ten minutes. So if you have inventory in the future and we b- build out this platform, we got all people who are interesting now is fashion, future maybe uh, electronics, and you you are retail owner. For example, and you tell me, say, Jeff, I have some inventory I need to move by tomorrow. Yeah. Sure, we put in our app, and they're all sold out. In How do you minutes. take uh, payments? So do you put a credit card? Yeah, in we, you, we 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 accept credit cards. Okay. Do yeah, you take PayPal, PayPal as well? Yeah, we do PayPal. Very cool. Yeah. And how was this funded? How how does this company funded? How did, how did you get the the capital to build this and and build a uh, enough we f- inventory to and to get this going? Yeah, uh, we funded uh, uh, May. Um, our investor is looking at our, web, our website, and he he's very exciting uh, the Dutch auction stuff. 
and he he believed that's something something in there you, you change some because there's a fun part missing in retailer for a while you go to eBay you know, it was very exciting when you go through the auction but you're not exciting anymore yeah. and it's not very efficient the auction always goes two days three days who don't ha who have time for three days for for item now so we we try to push the limit to ten minutes so I mean everybody have ten minutes you just you just you just open the app place the price that's it. Now you're showing me it on an iPhone. Is it uh, going to be available on other platforms as well? Yeah, exactly. We uh, we kind of uh, when we de develop this app, we kind of do do both way. So uh, one so Android and iPhone. Android, Windows iPhone. Windows Phone later. Yeah, yeah. We we try to use the the newest uh, developer technology, so we, we can we can develop two in the developer two version at the same time. Right. So cool. one, once once we go to Apple Store, the the Android will be ready. Very cool. Yeah. Um, cool. That sounds good. Uh, where do we get it? Uh, on the on the iTunes store. Yeah, today. yeah. Is it Android? No, it's not today. One? We we start beta beta testing right now. So okay. we we sending out some codes for uh for, you know we we sell we we, we uh, in a small area. Uh, we do a private testing, and then we it, we go public then then early um, August eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Very Monday. cool. So yeah. sell it on the uh, iTunes store. Yeah, search uh, on the iTunes store. If you're um, interesting, if you're looking for some uh, Craigslist uh, authority, you can you can you can try it. Sell it. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Thanks right. so much for Thank coming you so and showing it to me. Thank you.